god, what a wreck of a human being. This movie completely destroyed my idea of Marilyn. I hope and pray that this is a fictionalized story and whatever semblance it has to reality, it's a small one. Before I really get into it, I just want to clarify that when I talk about Marilyn throughout the course of this review, I'm not referring to Marilyn Monroe the person because I didn't know the person, nor am I referring to Michelle Williams, who I still think is a great actress. I am referring to the character of Marilyn Monroe as it exists in this movie. That being said, you know, I may be naive, but I hold actors to a certain standard, and I hold great actors who become famous to an even higher standard. I believe that, you know, great actors, in order to achieve that greatness, have something genuine about them. They are funny, charming, highly intelligent people that, you know, are also empathic and have some innate ability to understand human behavior and to mimic it to perfection. Above all, they are consummate professionals. Marilyn Monroe is not a professional. She cannot even grasp the minimum amount of professionalism that I would expect from an actor, namely, be on time, know your lines. Now, I'm not saying that they can't, you know, fuck up from time to time, but just the minimum amount of professionalism that an actor needs is to be on time and to know your fucking lines. Marilyn is not able to do either of those throughout the movie. She is always late. She always messes up her lines. And, you know, 90% of the time she cannot even function as an actress without a whole entourage of people kissing her ass. At some point there is even a scene where her acting coach gets on her hands and knees in front of her like she's some kind of goddess and proclaims her the greatest actress to have ever lived and Marilyn is like, hee 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 hee, well I guess that's true. It's disgusting to see these people pander to this woman and enable all of her addictions. And the entire story revolves around this relationship between a young third assistant director and Marilyn. And the feeling I got is that the entire basis of this relationship is that this guy could provide a whole new, like, amount of ass-kissing that she has never experienced before because she was used to all the flattery and compliments she was already getting and this young fertile dude is here you know complimenting her constantly and showing his obsession with her and you know it's new it's hip of course she would be into that of course she would need that co that constant attention the one character i find sympathetic in this movie is Laurence olivier who had to work with Marilyn and he could not stand the bitch because she was always wasting his time and but even he at some point is like you know when Marilyn is on she's amazing now I'm sorry but I don't think a great actor is on only under a special set of circumstances a great actor is ready to deliver a great performance at any time that's what makes him great Otherwise, you know, you're just a happy, repeated accident. Now, if I seem, you know, mean throughout this review, it's because it's so frustrating to see these people always complimenting Marilyn on being the greatest actress ever and being amazing and fantastic and so much raw talent when she has trouble with the difference between the lines that's good and that's good too. But how was Michelle Williams acting? Well, given how infuriated I am with this character, it was pretty fucking spectacular. In fact, if Michelle Williams wins the Oscar on Sunday, I will not be surprised, but I am disappointed in how My Week with Marilyn glamorizes insecurity and emotional instability in Hollywood. 